I could marry your sister. Despite their earnestness and the depth of the secret longing in his soul, the moment the words left his lips, Alexander Markby, 6th Earl of Derby, knew he had made an error. And it wasn't simply because the lady in question was from a class that almost never married into his own. That, oh, it gave him pause, but not enough to stop the secret wish of his soul. No, it was the fact his friend, Harry Digby, who had been his friend since childhood, as they had scampered over the hills of Yorkshire, hauled back his fist and let fly. The blow was made with such intensity and zeal that it cracked into Alexander's jaw, driving his head back, causing his teeth to clack. He let out a harsh breath, staggered a few feet, brought his hands back up, and made certain to weave away quickly, bouncing on the balls of his toes lest the man knock his block off entirely. You hit far too hard for a vicar in training, Alexander said. Harry shrugged. God or no God, vicar or no vicar, my fists are hammers. And you knew that when you said that nonsense? It was true, but he had hoped with his father's death that now he could truly change things. It seemed not all things. His father's determination that he never, ever marry Rose Digby had been taken up by her brother. And as his oldest friend, he could not defy his friend. Not when his friend had suffered so much at Alexander's family's hands. Alex had been dancing in the ring with Harry for years, and before that they'd had many an opportunity to exchange friendly blows without Queensbury rules. As it was now, here in Oxford, they had come to their boxing club to get in a round before exams came in. The hallowed, ancient halls of Oxford were a place of teeming nerves at present. All of the young men knew their futures were dependent upon the events of the next few weeks. Well, not all of them. Men like Alexander, they had fortunes and titles and power they were given merely because of the chance of birth. Now, he did all he could to help people and bestow many patronages. He'd even helped Harry and his sister, though they did not know it, for he'd been certain they wouldn't accept his assistance, not after the way his father had thrown them off his land all those years ago. But almost the moment after his father died, he had set things in motion with a solicitor. Money for Harry to attend school, and a sum to pull his dear Rose out of poverty, and give her some independence after the tragic deaths of both of her parents. Yes, he was born to greatness by sheer chance, though some insisted it was God's ordination. He had no desire to discuss the theology of it. Harry, on the other hand, would have to strive mightily to make certain he attained his degree. After all, he wouldn't be able to achieve a family living without it. And the truth was, Alex desperately wanted his friend to succeed. 